I'm now going to show you the second way to import control coordinates into an existing 12D project. I'm going to use the method under survey, extras, create control stations. Now I simply fill out the model I wish to enter these control coordinates into, and I'm going to use the same model as we used in the first video and call it control. I'm going to use the same color, red. For a style mode, I'm going to change it from a line style to symbols only. For the symbol, I'm going to select a symbol under survey. And I'm going to choose the symbol station like we used in the first video. I'm going to give it a size of one. I'm going to make sure that we use the Z value that we type in for the height. And I'm going to make sure that we use the point ID as the control name. Also select the text that we wish to use, Aerial Center 1. If you don't want to use the point ID as the control name, if I untick this box, you can see the station name or the string name will disappear. I'm going to tick this back on because I want to enter a, a string name in. I'm now just going to expand this panel open so I can see all the rows. And now look at our Excel spreadsheet and we can see that we have a number of rows here. We need to match this number. We've only got one in our control station panel in 12D, but we have eight, eight coordinates here we wish to enter. So we need to make the number of rows add up. So you just go to the very right box and hit enter and this will add more rows. So I'll do this till I get to the number eight. And once I have eight rows in, I need to make sure now the columns match. So as you can see here, our station ID is this column right here. I'm not worried about a remark, so but I do need to enter in two extra columns so they add up. So all I'll do is left click on the A and right click insert and do this twice. And now you can see the rows and columns are now the same. Once you're happy with this, simply left click in the Excel spreadsheet on the top left hand box, then right click, select copy. And again, left click in the top left hand box in the create control stations panel, left click until all the cells highlight blue and then right click paste. And this will now enter the values in the correct columns. As you can see, we had the string names empty. So we need to add the string name we wish to type in here. So I'm gonna use STN like we did before and just copy and just paste that into each row. Once I've entered all the data in, I now need to use these control points. So I simply left click on the word use and then right click and go set. This saves me selecting this individually one by one. Once I'm happy with how I filled this panel out, I simply pick process. 12D then comes up with the control stations created prompt and now I'll move my control panel out of the way and I just do a zoom all. You can see there's our control with the point IDs added in.